Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. Be sure to check out my Amazon affiliate store where you'll find a lot of the tools that I use in my shop. You'll also find a brief description of the tool and what I think of it. You'll find a link to my Amazon store in the description of the video. My wife asked if I would make a new waste basket for our kids' bathroom, and she wanted it to be able to fit into a corner in the bathroom, and this is the design that we came up with. The front needs to be wider and a little bit thicker than the side pieces. And I'm gonna get that from a piece of eight quarter cherry. So the next thing I'm gonna do is flatten one face and square one edge of the joiner. Then I'll take this board over to the bandsaw and resaw it right down the middle to get two halves, which I'll later glue together. So it'll create a nice book match for the front board. After resawing that board right down the middle, at the joiner, I'm just gonna lightly face joint each resawn face, and then at the planer, I'll take it to its final thickness. After the glue dried, I lightly planed each face of the front board that is book matched. Now I need to cut it to its final width. And because I want to keep the glue line exactly in the center because there's symmetry because of the book match, I'm going to take the same amount of material off of both sides when I cut it to its final width. I need to make two grooves, one on each side of the front piece for the side components, which are gonna come in at 45 degrees. So I have my stack dado set installed and I've tilted my stack dado set to 45 degrees and I'll make both these cuts next. I tilted my table saw blade to 45 degrees and I cut one edge of each side component to 45 degrees. Now I have it back to 90 degrees for the other edge. And when I cut it to its final width, when I make this 90 degree cut, I need to make sure that I get the width exactly right so that when the two sides come together at 45 degrees, they meet at a perfect 90 degrees in the back corner. That'll make more sense later. I made a bottom for the wastebasket out of some quarter inch ply and then I'll just go into the grooves that we created at the router table.
So after a couple coats of General Finish's Armor Seal, the wastebasket is finished and I'm really happy with how this turned out. I really like this design. It's pretty cool. So if you get a chance, please check out my Amazon affiliate store and also consider becoming a supporter of Garage Woodworks through Patreon. You'll find links to both of them in the first comment below and also in the description of the video. I'll see you all next time.